up guys cp the tool addict here Woo! we've got the matco flyer issue number 23 11 7 to 11 29 2020 and uh we're got on the front here we're going to talk about the max 3 pricing financing promo 9.9 percent 6.6 low with prime credit so most credit 9.9 um, not a bad deal. If you can get that for 6%, I would say that's actually a pretty good deal considering it's on the tool truck and the price of it is $44.99. I believe this is a launch scan tool. And obviously, um, this is going to do a lot of stuff. Uses two Bluetooth devices at once, uh, performs wireless OE level diagnostics, multiple applications. I don't have a problem with now with Chrysler security gateway access. Huh, that's interesting. I wonder if that will help you get into the key programming better. Anyways, so, um, not a bad scan tool. I would really like to play around with the bigger one more. I don't think it's really much different than my little guy, but we're going to open this up and start getting through this. Hopefully, I didn't use my, uh, I didn't take the pictures and put them on my tablet because a lot of guys are complaining about the crack screen, but anyways, we're going to move along. We got the Ranger Mud. I feel like they keep putting this in here every month. It is an awesome little tool. Does not come with the batteries, guys. Keep in mind, that is the price without battery in it. You have to supply your own battery, but the Ranger Mud is a handy deal, especially for checking trailer whites. Remote starter switch. You just see in the Snap-on has one. This is the one I recommend right here. That one is a rebranded Lyle, and it is a solid unit. 130-amp uh, heavy-duty battery load tester, 99.9. 99.99 LED circuit tester, 39.95 um, LED circuit tester, 624 volt, 26.95. Is that the rebranded Lyle one? Uh, one of these is rebranded Lyle. So I almost positive. And then we have the hybrid LEDs, 12 and 20, 12 and 42 volt, which is very important if you are doing hybrid for 39.99. All decent prices, all decent looking working uh, test lights. The incandescent, I will tell you, is more relevant for doing load circuit testing um, because you get a proper um, circuit draw with the incandescent light in it. Uh, engineers, find out fast. You have the chassis engineers, $95.99. They work okay. I have never really needed them, to be honest with you, um, but they could be handy in some instances. Some guys probably have better inf insight on them than me. We have the Maxi TPMS tool in camo 2.0, 1169. Uh, TPMS stuff is definitely getting out of control, I'll tell you what. I really, uh, I don't know what to say. We have the annual update for the TPMS 182. Um, these things are just getting, TPMSs are just huge money makers, I'll be honest with you. Let's move along. We've got some hex grip wrenches, it looks like here. Uh, stubby hex grip wrenches for $185.99. Ask for a demo to be impressed. Uh, they do work good. I believe these are rebranded I Astros, to be honest with you, but I don't think Astros sells the stubby. We've got a bit set over here, 42 piece for $166. Um, that's a nice little carrying case. Uh, Infinum batteries, 16 volt, $73. Um, then the charger you have to buy, so you're looking at about 104, what, 150 bucks. For that this tool right here i believe is rebranded from mueller caps and i do own the matco version i will tell you not one of my favorite for pulling fuses um 55.95 it this grip is so slippery that even with a little bit of sweat or oil on your hands i do lose grip on it and it does feel a little bit awkward pulling fuses now i'm being of course very um picky about it because I bought the tool for that, and that and removing trim clips is what my uh, dealer told me. Steel plastic clip pliers. Um, that's what they're really called for, innovative grip. Um, it doesn't show it on here, but they're actually designed for plastic clips and for fuses. They do work okay for fuses. Plastic clips, I kind of don't like them. We've got some of these hose clamp. These are my favorite hose clamp pliers, guys. These are rebranded by Lang. Um, and, uh, not a bad deal on these 25 bucks for the minis, 29 for the nine inches and 59 95 for the 14. I do like these hose pinch pliers the best. They seem to hold up. They work pretty good. Vacuum pressure pump or vacuum pressure pump kit 119. Obviously that's a mighty vac. The hood prop tool. This is a very 
long tool, by the way. It's new. I don't know much about this. $39.95. Um, I'm sure for doing stuff where you have to get it to telescope out long, that could be handy because I know some of the hood props. But most of the time, I use the clamps on the shocks. Matco <laughs> Ratchet. I tell you what, you talk about taking it in the shorts. Of course, this is not the black one. Uh, they got these on sale for $145.95 on here. This is the 12-inch length. Uh, same ratchet as this, basically, and uh, super, uh, you know, popular ratchet. Um, the best, I would have to argue with that, but that's my opinion. Once again, not the end all. I'm not the gospel. I'm just telling you my feelings about it. 145 is definitely a fairer price for it. I will tell you that. I don't think that's that is a decent price. If you are really wanting to get one of these Matco ratchets and wanting to get into them. Now would be the time because that's a good as deal as any, and I don't feel like they're worth the price they retail for. 60 to 300 pound half inch drive manual torque wrench. Guys, these are not obsolete. These are not obsolete. Despite a lot of people talking about electronic torque wrenches and, and not having angle, for putting wheels on and quick jobs, I really am missing my torque, my click drive torque wrench. I wish I, I don't know why I ever traded it in. Dumbest thing I ever did. And, uh, and now I'm going to have to buy another one. I They had a deal, Snap-on had a deal when I bought my, um, and I was using an angle gauge before. Not that big of a deal. $349 for that torque wrench um, will definitely, if you have an angle gauge like the old Lyle dial gauge, you can get it done with that. You don't really need an, you don't always need a digital to do that. Digitals are nice because they have angle built into them. But you can use an angle gauge and get a buy with a torque wrench like that. <clears throat> Matco sockets, the OptiTorque. Matco's had the OptiTorque for a long time, $199 for the 3H drive mid-length chrome socket set. They used to be Armstrong built. Um, I don't know if AJ's building those for them or not. Matco speakers, you got this speaker here, the sound bar, and you have these right here, popular with some people. Matco toys, it is the holiday season, so we have some toys. We got a mug, stainless steel for $59. We have another mug for $16. Uh, wine bottle gift set, the Matco football, wooden bench, uh, coast, hex drinks, coaster set. set. Um, we got the Rat Fink. Man, I tell you what, it's hard for me. The kid in me wants to buy the Rat Fink slot car set because that is just cool. You guys don't know, I do have a little bit of a Rat Fink fetish. I've always admired Matco for having Rat Fink. Ed Roth is an, is an amazing person uh, for what, you know, with the Rat Fink stuff. That is pretty cool. Um, what is this? Ratfink Blazer 129. That's pretty cool. Man, jeez. I don't need to buy any toys. As much as I'd like to buy that, now they have heated jackets. The Infinum heated jackets from Matco, so they can use your Infinum battery. So you guys that do have Matco tools, electric tools, look, now you have a jacket. That's pretty cool. Uh, they're expanding their line even more. See my flyer came apart here. We got some Matco welding helmets, 189 for uh camo one, 189 for the pink camo, 180 for the Fault Lame series, and 360 for the bad boy, 319 series, the evil jester. That is sweet. <laughs> I wish they'd do a rat fink one. I might even actually be interested in buying one. The artwork on the helmets basically what you pay for, anyways, for most of them. All the internals are about the same. Best ratchet on the market as far as design guys i can't tell you enough i mean if you are going to buy an air powered ratchet this is absolutely the best way to go these are made by sp air max sells them sp air sells them i don't care who you get them from i've had these ratchets and i still to this day i'm spoiled honestly i still love using my uh these ratchets even over my snap-ons, because the flip of the, the flip design is down here. You literally don't have to take your hand off the tool to put it in reverse. You guys that don't know about these ratchets, I would honestly say that I would still prefer these over the electric. They have a two-year warranty on them. They're absolutely fantastic. They have plenty of power. What's the revolutions? 90 foot-pounds of torque on the 3.8, 35 on the quarter-inch, and they work fantastic. Um, you know, that's not terrible price for these i know they're kind of expensive but man i'll tell you what when it comes to an air ratchet there, nothing else I, I there's nothing to me out there 
you, these would st I would still put these up against electric ratchets just because their design is the most innovative on the market. Oh, and look at that. The throttle position changes. That's pretty cool, too. I didn't know they did that now. That's, that's actually very interesting. That would put that ahead of anything out there on the market for the throttle position changing. You could switch that paddle to the backside or the front side or the side to keep it out of the way of something. Guys, I, I mean, I, I, can't, I can't hand it to them enough. SPR just kills it with these ratchets. So, uh, might be exclusive to Matco for that deal, but that's pretty awesome. Quarter inch impact. You guys know my feelings on that. I ch look at this. I mean, 60 foot pounds. Yeah. Three piece step pickle fork set. That's a Lyle Brie brand, 85.95. Um, 199 Silver Eagle quarter inch riveter. These sanders, uh, these things right here, 135. That's not a bad deal for that. 3 8 13 inch belt sander. These things are actually still kind of handy. Uh, air hammer bit and Silver Eagle chisel retainer, 55, 34. Uh, Matco little magnetic trays, pretty cool, 12 bucks. Can't beat that for a cheap deal. Pocket dial cob floodlight, don't know much about this. Look at this, guys, a nice little seat. 269, 480 pound capacity. That is a beefy chair right there. No doubt about it. Drum wrench, $22.95. Stainless steel vertical pump, $154. We have the number one technician's choice, Patriot themed light Cobb mini flood edition. I got to tell you that that thing looks suspiciously like a um, <clears throat> one of these style lights. Uh, $79.95, not super bad for it. That is a little bit bigger. 180 degree swivel. Definitely like those magnetic lights. Eight-piece universal kit, 104. Uh, 1.8 liter, 34 millimeter, 14 flute. 1.8 Toyota full oil filter wrench. Uh, these things are, I'm hearing a lot of guys tell, talk about how these things are nice. The 3H drive, seven-piece crow foot filter socket. I don't have these, but I try not to do oil changes. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, we got guys that do oil changes. New two-piece aluminum Ford oil cooler disconnects, $29.99. Right here, these are uh, definitely something you need for the new Fords. Not a bad deal on these. You see the Capri video I did. Uh, Capri's selling these same exact ones. They are $5 more from Capri. I will tell you, go buy them from Capri. Uh, save the 5 bucks. You'll get the free shipping on them. These are a durable thing. I mean, if you want to buy them from Macro Guy and pay the extra $5. But uh, they're the same exact ones, and they're $24 and $22. I think the black one's $22. And uh, these are kind of a large capacity. Four and a half gallon oil, oval drain pan. Can't beat that. Got to have a drain pan. Then last but not least, like I get said once again, the Ratfink Series Cart Matco 11, 1046 for the price on this. Pretty cool cart. These are definitely really nice carts. Um, not a bad deal at all. Get Talk to your Matco dealer. Limited edition four drawer. Cool. So there you go, guys. There's my video. Uh, time's up. <laughs> I had to check. I thought it quit on me. But anyways, appreciate you watching. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this Matco flyer review. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.